pandemic has spread faster than any disease in modern history. Authorities are bracing for more rioting tonight. He was knocked out conscious. A citywide emergency. CDC has quarantined the lower Midwestern region of the U.S. Commitment, honesty, integrity, these are the core values that create the foundation for Umbrella. It's this foundation that will continue to build a brighter future for all of us. Hey everybody, welcome to Resident Evil 3. Very excited. If that intro isn't hitting home right now, I don't know what will. I'm just gonna make one recommendation that's set the vibe. If you don't know what that means, it's lights off, headphones on, volume up. We're just gonna let ourselves get into this one. <laughs> Codename Nemesis. Okay, so let's dive in, shall we? It's, it feels like this room feels claustrophobic already. Like things are closing in on us. Raccoon City work that we've been piecing together, it seems. Umbrella at the center of it. Hello. Did we leave this on? Come on. This is an insurance claim waiting to happen. Uh-oh. Whoa. having a nightmare or what? <laughs> Ugh. Whoa, I, was, I don't like that. Escape Raccoon City starred there. Gets worse every night. Three more days, then I can kiss this town goodbye. Worst month in my life, it says. <laughs> okay, so this kind of lights up the board where we're tracking everything. I'm wondering how much detail going on out there we can get from the info that's posted up here investigation notes umbrella pharmaceuticals company industry leader and in market share focuses on military weapons development while maintaining cover as a pharmaceutical company also secretly developing bioweapons not that good of a secret turns out t virus outbreak at arclay mountains research facility predicated the mansion incident so going back a ways there Inspiring with Raccoon City leadership, large donations to Mayor Warren's office effectively controls the city. A little corporate power on display. 
Okay, Jill's report. September 26, 98. It's already been two months since that mess with Umbrella. Thanks to that suspension, investigations haven't progressed exactly as I'd hoped. Perhaps this written record of what I found will, prov or will prove to be my final duty as a STARS officer. I can only hope that this helps, that it helps lead to the truth. Those infected by this virus seem to become literal zombies. It appears to be communicable via several different avenues outlined below. A uh, bite from an infected individual, allowing the mixing of bodily fluids, contact with crows, which have eaten infected carrion, and due to the strength of the virus, airborne infection cannot be discounted. It should be noted that those who survived the incident have not yet developed symptoms. It's unclear whether this was because the virus has a long incubation period or because we just happen to be resistant to the infection. We ought to remain vigilant even after this investigation period ends. As for me, aside from my minor difficulty sleeping, I seem to be in fine shape. Still, I shouldn't get too hopeful. After all, this could just be an extended incubation. It could be. Before you know it, you're locked inside for months. Extended incubation. Unsealed envelope. This doesn't look marked on the front. They've got me pinned down at home. Guys across the street are watching me from their window 24-7. Are they Irons men? Umbrellas? I don't know, and there's no real difference anyway. I know what they're trying to do. They want to wear me down, torment me into compliance, and it's working. I'm barely eating, barely sleeping. I'm going crazy. I feel like the living dead. But I won't let them in. I have to get out of the city and find a way to make them accountable. They'll send someone to silence me, of course, if you hear that I've been killed or whatever. It is they do to people like me. You must pick up the investigation where I left off. I've enclosed my files. They'll tell you everything you need to know as long as this package isn't intercepted. I'll be moving out at night. Five days. Wish me luck. So we're trying to... We're trying to take these guys down and we're worried that they're going to find out and stop us. Very likely the case. And so we're dropping these hints behind for people. Obviously leaving our wall up. I guess we're going to mail that off. What else do we have here? Message from a colleague. To Jill Valentine. Hey, Hotshot, how you holding up? I still can't believe Iron suspended you. It's such bullshit. He ought to pin a medal on you for making it out of that hellhole back in July. Of course you're going to poke around and ask questions about it. I hope you're not mad at me for keeping my head down. Everything's been happening so fast. Stars was the pride of the Force. When the Chief disbanded us out of nowhere, I thought for sure I was going to lose my job. Where is it you're planning to leave Raccoon City? I figured you wouldn't take the suspension lying down. Just promise to watch your back. Umbrella won't sit still while you try to dismantle their business. Take care, Jill. From Be Brad Vickers. Oh, there's a throwback. P.S. Had to slip this message to the pizza guy to avoid detection. Enjoy the extra large mega meat supreme. <laughs> it's on me and the guys. Thanks. Looks like we enjoyed a solid half of it. Probably some significant stress eating happening here. Bakery bread, beer, and milk. There's some jam and wine, and like, looks like a fresca. Which is a weird drink, if you ask me, but... Let's not get into that. That was a very heated debate. Okay. Come on, be cool. Just be cool. Just be cool, it's gonna be fine. We're gonna look normal. No blood, please. Excellent. <sighs> okay. September 28th. 8.07 p.m. Who's calling us? Who could that be? All right, I'm coming. Hello? Jill, are, are you okay? Brad, is that you? Listen, you gotta get out of there. What are you talking about? I don't have time to explain. You gotta get out of there right now. All right, let me grab my... Whoa. <laughs> Whoa, what the? <laughs> ah! 
Wow. Oh, no way. Let's motor. Jesus. <laughs> I thought maybe this was another dream. Well, that that's not going to that's not going to do anything. gonna be hard to get away from him if there's only one way to go <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> let's motor go 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 What the frick? We're gonna need some green herbs after this. Okay. Real bad. Okay, that's enough. Oh, that's wild. Okay, so we've opted for the calm, cool, collected opening scene. Good. Get out of town. Yeah, no problem there. Jill? Over here! Brad! You okay? RPD. What was that thing? Tim to find, though. But right now it's got a hard on for the only two stars left in town. You and me. I'm not sticking around. Just look around you. The longer we wait, the more screwed we are. This all happened so fast. I don't know. One fucked up thing always leads to another. It's like Arclay on steroids. Be, this would be so incredibly, like, hey, hey, for something you? at Damn this you. level to happen in your, wherever you live. Just imagine how, like, Displacing that would be. Many people be infected. Brad! Here they come! Here. Yeah, we're gonna need a gun sooner or later. There's so many. Real bad. <laughs> Whoa. Oh no! Don't think about it. Well, we're gonna make a run for it. Come on, Jill. We know how this ends. No, I don't. Are we still a team? Always. Then do me a favor. Don't fuck up like I do. Go! Oh, don't even think about it. Oh, nice, actually. <laughs> Sorry. I'm so paranoid coming off Half-Life Alex, where you're never sure if they're going to jump at you or not. Oh, God. I don't know if we want to be fighting this.
route. Under? Probably gonna regret using any of those bullets. I wouldn't go in there. The parking garage isn't far. I can the only safe place is in here. Oh, I... Uh, okay. That's, oh. There's no way. Sir, what's your name? I can't just leave you behind. It's Dario Rosso. Dario Rosso. And yeah, right. You just want to steal my safe house. Get your own, Missy. Missy? <laughs> Would you please calm down? I'm a police officer. I'm here to help. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, you've been doing a bang-up job. You want to help? Go handcuff yourself to one of those freaks. Sir, this is your last chance. No one else is coming for you. I'm not going anywhere. I'd rather starve to death than here than be eaten by one of those undead monsters. Now leave me alone. Well, can't say we didn't try. Okay. Let's, uh, we gotta combine, or we can just reload from here. Nice. Whoa. Please do not break through there. I'm not sure how liberal we can be with our ammo. Jeez. <laughs> wow. Okay, with three to spare, maybe. Can we leave him? Go, 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 go! Gladly. What? What the hell? Oh, <laughs> yeah. Sorry. It would be him. Seems like he's got a bit of a personal vendetta. Okay. Let's go, guys. <laughs> Start, damn it. It's my turn, bitch. Keep going. Even that's not going to do it. Just stay back. 
there's nothing we can do. Oh, what? Oh, there we go. Now we're talking. <laughs> That's insane. Hey, easy lady, I got you. Who are you? What are you doing? James Carlos, and I'm saving you. Come on, let's get you someplace safe. I can't even, I don't think that guy's gone. I don't think, that's I think probably a temporary here. setback. Hope so. We've been bringing survivors here. Here where? My guys have converted some subway cars into a shelter. It's safe. I'm fine. Personal space, okay, I get it. Let's go. Oh, come on. Who's the dipshit that closed this? Sorry, we're gonna have to go around. Hey, I guess we have no choice but to trust this guy. Nothing. I've never seen anything like it. But it's no zombie. It knows what it wants and won't stop till it gets it. Don't you like that in a man? No thanks. <laughs> He's all yours. Pretty cocky. Listen, I promise you're in good hands. I'm with the Umbrella Biohazard Countermeasure Service. UBCS for short. Are you kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me? You guys are the ones who caused all of this. Whoa, 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 whoa. What are you talking about? We're just here to help people. What's wrong with Umbrella? What's wrong with Umbrella? Oh my god. Probably You're not the right person to ask. responsible for infecting everyone. Yeah. I don't know anything about all that. But you don't have to trust me. But I'm going to the shelter. You coming? Come on. It's this way. It's kind of that willful ignorance where he's like, yeah, so I've heard, but it's not my thing. So I just keep doing what I'm doing. It's tough, though. Like, what do you do in that scenario? Hey, Captain. This fine young lady could use our help. Carlos, you didn't even think to ask fine young lady her name? She is an elite operative of RPD, Special Tactics and Rescue Service. Her name is something Valentine. It's Jill. Nice to meet you, Jill. I am UBCS Platoon Leader Mikhail Viktor. My team was sent here to rescue civilians. Right. How's that going for you? The city is completely cut off, isolated. Most of the hundred thousand civilians will wind up dead. Uh, correction, undead. My platoon has suffered serious losses. Just keeping them alive is more than I can manage. Well, you can thank your corporate overlords for that. Yes. Well, we are doing all we can. If we can get this subway train moving, we can evacuate some survivors. But we need help. My men cannot do this alone. All right. <laughs> I'm in. But I am on their side, not yours. Oh, hey. It's cool. We all want the same thing. Thank you, Joe. Yeah, we'll see how that statement holds up. Here you go. We can use this to stay in contact. I know what a radio is. We kind of got first this like... First. We need to get you geared up. Head up to street level. You'll find supplies there. All right. She kind of got a bit of a chip on her shoulder. A little bit of uh, something to prove. UBCS Ammo Crafting Guide. On the battlefield, if you run out of ammo, your gun's about as useful as a wet fart. <laughs> Want to stay alive out there? Then get these basic formulas into your skull. Handgun ammo, gunpowder times two. Shotgun shells, gunpowder plus high-grade gunpowder. Mag ammo, high-grade gunpowder times two. 
Once you're stocked up, get out of there and join the party. Let's give those dead motherfuckers something to eat. Just make sure you don't become dessert. And we'll do our best. Science form? Is that L? Dr. Light and Dr. Wily? Mega Man comics. Cool. Astro Crunch cereal? Yeah, Frosted Flakes. Got it. And Big E. <laughs> Freak Cinema? Mm. Skull Stalker. Some cool references there. Tyrant of the Deep. We saw these before. Hell Squid. Okay, so what street is this? Redstone. Tabloid front page. In the gray of the morning on September 25th, this is called the Cannibal Murders, a frantic caller telephoned the RPD to report an assault. A man described as disheveled, like a vagrant, was attacking a passerby north of the Lambs Museum of Art. The responding officers discovered the muta mutilated corpse of a woman by some dumpsters nearby. Dozens of bite marks covering her body, and she had been dismembered, suggesting she had been eaten. The third known incident of its kind to occur in Raccoon City this month. So who done it? Who's been munching on man steak? We here at the News Comet <laughs> have a gnawing feeling that the so-called cannibal disease patient, Spencer Memorial, has been providing free treatment for since August, might not be settling for just the cafeteria food. Our reporters have infiltrated Spencer Memorial, asked the tough questions, and come back with horror stories that will make your stomach royal. Turn the page for the scoop. And, of course, cliffhanger. Upside yet? Not Working yet. So what's the plan? The old tanks got me clearing the tracks. You mind getting the subway infrastructure back online? And how do I do that? Let's start by restoring power. I'll navigate you to the substation once you hit the main road. Copy that. Let's do this fast. Pretty convenient how quickly we're the ones doing the work and they're sitting here safe. Wolf of the Battlefield, Wolf of Wall Street. I don't know the sudden death bowling reference. Oh, hello. Green herbs, thanks. Got some gunpowder. More gunpowder. So if we want, some items can be combined with other items. Uh, either to free up a slot or create something new. Use the plus combine command to do just that. So if we combine both of these, we get standard bullets. If we combine from here. Okay, we can't. Here, if we combine this, I think it just makes a stronger one. Yeah, mixed herbs, GG. What else do we have in here? All the files we picked up. Making use of the map. Map screens important or is useful for more than just your location and surroundings. It can also show you points of interest and in items you have found but haven't picked up. Okay, cool. One to three to zoom. Change the area that we're in. All right. G19. Oh, that's just showing us. Okay, so we don't have anything to combine with this unless the knife. Maybe we can pry it? No. Comes in handy in desperate situations. Can we shoot this lock off? No, we need to find a key. What is this? Commemorating the grand opening of the Kite Bros Railway. Maybe have to, like, place something on here at some point. It almost looks like I could get this working if I plug in the right whatever it is. Get the power going. Ah, nice. Let's save. And I guess this is a storage bin that we can use. We don't have anything to store right now. Herb Field Manual. 
or herb, depending on how you say things. There's no place in the UBCS for pipsqueaks who crawl back to base every single time they get scratched up. You want somebody to kiss your boo-boo? Go someplace else. Here in the big leagues, we mix our own meds, so get these recipes memorized. Uh, so high potency mixture, green herb times two. Maximum potency, green plus red. Uh, first aid spray, can't make these yourself. Grab them if you see them, that should do it. Now let's get this done and then go grab a beer. So ideally, we start saving all of our greens for when we find um, reds. But I'm not sure how soon that's going to happen, if at all, right now. I just want to see if there's any sort of key for this. I imagine since this thing is happening that we'll likely be back here. Once we can find this power. Oh, we're cool with people just like going in there, I guess. We've gotta get that train moving. Quick step. So if we can dodge around a bit. I wanna see if there's anything out here. Seems clear. Go. Nope. Oh, yeah. I think this. Oh, boy. Come on. I thought that guy... I heard footsteps and I thought the other one that we left was coming back. I thought that said Toy Uncle Smoke Shop. I was like, that is a... <laughs> that's a bizarre name for Smoke Shop. Okay, also yellow. So... I guess we're looking for a key that's going to unlock a whole bunch of yellow locks. Yeah, okay. So little things are marked for us. We've got the typewriter. I'm not sure what this little thing is. We'll have to check that when we go back. And then uh, two exclamation points, which means things we can interact with, I suppose. This is a locked door from the uh, yellow thing that we just saw. Oh, is it? Hold on. I'm going to see if we can... There we go. That's what was back there, wasn't it? wonder what the possibilities of going back there right now are. I'm going to let this guy live. I'll see if we can get in and we'll just bust that box open. Okay. Damn it. Nice. I'm guessing it's not anything super crucial, but just in case it happens to be a key or something. Oh, there's the red herb. Lovely. All right. We'll keep this. You know what? Actually... Let's, uh, let's go ahead and just store this for now. Yeah, I think that's fine. When you're running, you can't really do the, uh... Okay, we can, actually. We can do the steps. For some reason, I was trying to do that when we ran past them the first time, but... This might be too tight. Carlos, I've reached the main avenue. Which way do I go? You see a big transmission tower? That's the substation. You'll have to circle around through an alley to your right to get there. You mean the alley that's on fire? <laughs> Maybe. 
surely a tall drink of water like yourself to put out a few flames. <sighs> Fuck you. I don't appreciate his tone. Are we looking for... Yeah, we have this here, but... I don't see any of this stuff working. We're going to need some type of uh, special tool. Then we're going to need to find one of those somehow. Great. That red barrel better be able to explode. That'll do. 